Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have a to the power of a, and this equals a to the power of 2. We are solving for all values of a that satisfies this equation. Now, if you consider this identity, for instance, if you have x to the power of x, and this equals x to the power of 3. Now, when the bases are the same, you compare the exponents. So we can say that x equals 3. Now, if you apply the same identity here, you will say that a equals 2 because the pieces are the same and the exponents, you can compare them. So that is one of the solutions, but there's also another solution. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve and gain all the solutions of this particular exponential problem. So if you have a to the power of a, and this equals a to the power of 2. Let's try by making use of natural log. You have the natural log of a to the power of a, and this equals the natural log of a to the power of 2. Now, according to this logarithm property, if you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So what happens here is the a here will come behind the natural log and the 2 will also come behind the natural log. So what we are going to have is a times ln a equals 2 times ln a. So what are we going to do? We can decide to divide this by ln a and we divide this by ln a. So what happens here is that the ln a eliminates the ln a and the ln a eliminates ln a. So what we are going to have here is that a equals 2. So this still gives us this particular solution. Now, let's go ahead and make use of this other trick in order to get all the solutions because you are supposed to have two different solutions. Now we are going to have a to the power of a equals a to the power of 2. So what we are going to do is we can divide each part of this equation by a to the power of 2 and we divide this by a to the power of 2. So what will happen here is that a power 2 eliminates a power 2. We are now going to be left with a to the power of a divided by a to the power of 2 equals 1. So at this particular point, we apply this identity. If you have x to the power of n divided by x to the power of n, this equals x to the power of n minus n. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means what we are going to have is we are simply going to get a to the power of a minus 2 equals 1 because the basis here are the same, so we subtract the exponent just like what we did here. The basis here are the same, we subtract the exponent. So, at this particular point, the next step will be for us to make use of natural log. We have natural log of a to the power of a minus 2 and this equals natural log of 1. So we go back to the logarithm property. If you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So the a minus 2 here will come behind this natural log using this identity. So what we are going to have is you have a minus 2 times ln of a equals ln 1. Now, you need to make use of this identity. Don't forget the fact that ln 1 equals 0 ln of 1 equals 0. Note this. 
So this place, we are going to replace it with zero. That means what we are going to have will be a minus two times ln a equals zero. So at this point, we can easily have two different solutions. We have a minus two equals zero. We just equated this one to zero. Or we have ln a equals zero. So if a minus two equals zero, we can easily solve for a by simply moving this negative two over here. So we have a equals two. Because when this negative 2 crosses this equality sign, it will change to positive 2. So this becomes one of the solutions. In fact, the solution that we had earlier on by inspection, this is A1. Now we need to solve this to find the other value of A. Now we have ln A equals 0. So what we are going to do is we need to eliminate this ln. And we can achieve that by using E. We have e power ln a equals e power 0. Now, e power ln will cancel out. So this eliminate this. So you have a equals e power 0. And any number raised to the power of 0, exception of 0 is 1. We have a equals 1. E raised to the power of 0 is 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. Exception of 0 power 0. This is not, this is the only exception. Every other alphabet or number raised to the power of 0 is 1. Now we have gotten two different solutions. So this is our A2, which is 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is to check if all these values of A will satisfy this equation. So we have check. Now remember, this is a power a equals a power 2. So we are going to check when a equals 2. So this is very simple. We are going to have 2 power 2 equals 2 power 2. And 2 power 2 is what? 4. And this equals 4. That is correct. Let's also check when a equals 1, the second value of a. So we recall the problem. We have a power a equals a power 2. So when a equals 1, we are going to have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 2. Question mark. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and this equals 1 to the power of 2 is 1. In fact, 1 to the power of any number is 1. So the both the build values of A have satisfied that equation. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you. Goodbye.